ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW brake discs and pads used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever, and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of the vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels. Raise the rear of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. For vehicles equipped with an electric handbrake, you need to put the brake caliper in maintenance mode using a diagnostic device. To do this, we recommend that you watch our video how to put an electric handbrake into maintenance mode. Loosen the brake caliper. To do this, use a 13mm spanner as well as a 17mm spanner and remove the caliper mounting bolts. Once you have removed them, this will free up the brake caliper. You can now remove the caliper. You need to check the proper sliding of the caliper mounting bolts and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with new ones. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Depending on the state of the nuts on the brake caliber mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a 17mm spanner, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. Using a T30 torque socket, release the screws that hold the disc. Then remove it. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take the new brake disc. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Install the new disc and screw the securing screw back in place. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the brake pads go. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand. And finishing with a 17mm spanner to lock them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the new brake pads. Install the support
and anti-vibration plates. Insert the new plates into the clevis by clipping them in. Put the brake caliper back in place. And screw in the caliper mounting bolts. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. It is now time to reactivate the electric handbrake. For this, we recommend that you watch our video How to put an electric handbrake in maintenance mode. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on. And lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful. Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.